price of Dominaria Remastered is too damn high. Maybe. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And that's right, Dominaria Remastered is about to be here. And we want to talk about, you know, is this set, in fact, going to suck? And no matter where you sit on the hot to cold scale, I guess it depends on what kind of quarter of the internet you're joining us from, right? If you're from the, this set is too expensive, I'm there's the collector boxes are crazy, the draft boxes don't give you anything for all your money. Or if you come from the nostalgia hype, I'm gonna cast all my spells, I'm gonna bling out my decks with these retro foils that I have more of a shot at. Like whichever side of this, of this spectrum you come from, I think it's important to talk about all of it. And not only that, really focus on what we as a community are about to learn from this set. Cause I, I think we're gonna learn so much about magic and its community in the next you know month to two months, it's gonna be wild. So it is a magic video, right? So what have I learned about being a magic content creator? Let's begin with the negativity. The price of this set is insane. The price is too damn high, right? So as of right now, the recording of this video, they have draft boxes on TCG player for presale at 163 and collector, or sorry, for 196 and collector for 292. Oh, I just leaked the 163 price. That's fine. Channel sponsor MinMac, you don't have to pay that. Channel sponsor MinMac Games is actually pre-selling draft boxes for 163 and collector for 275. Again, I leaked it early, but you know what? I'll leave a video or a link in the description of this video where you can go pre-order and you know, let them know I sent you. But the community is really concerned about the expensive price of these boxes. And the big portion of that concern is because now, unlike Time Spire Remastered, we have two boxes, right? We have this draft box, which has to be all about the play experience because you can't get what was the chase, these retro frame foils. And then you have the collector box, which is going to, you know, theoretically put more of these retro frame foils in the market because you have two shots, I think, per pack at a retro frame foil. Or maybe it's not two shots per pack. And it might be two shots per pack. Let me know in the comment section below if I got that one wrong. But people People are concerned about the price and rightfully so when we saw Time Spire Remastered come out now whether it's because of shipping issues or the street to Amazon drama that might have happened at the time we saw prices of boxes start to go up and up and up and while we got a lot of cool cards out of it people were a little hesitant for like the you know 180 190 200 draft box right it, it's something that we didn't warm up to right away now we've had some time However, we also have seen the community really push back against price increases and raise pricing for product that even if we like it, talking about you, Dominaria United, all of the Dominarias are just blowing my mind. So that is a big concern with this set. And the second concern that I do think is valid is all about the chase, right? The idea that these remastered sets, and I keep saying these remastered, the one remastered set before it was all about chasing those retro foils and as you chase these retro foils they become very special right we have that nostalgic feeling we get to gather around kind of the single box model there's maybe one 1 1.25 in every box i open it i open this retro frame foil i feel special because i got this card now with the collector box model and all these extra chances at the retro frame foil it's fair to say like hey this is not gonna feel great, you know, as good as it did in Time Spire Remaster. It's not gonna feel the same when you crack that retro foil thought sees as you did, you know, in TSR. You're like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. There's not a ton of these. It might feel a bit different. So that's a valid concern, but I think there's tons of reason to be hype as well. And I wanna start with the idea of the chase. And I am actually a bit against the TSR chase and the way TSR did the whole chase of retro frame foils. The reason is I like to think that like we can chase cards and have chase cards in product without making them that crazy limited, right? In TSR, if you had your eye on a place out of a retro frame foil and it was poppy, it was thoughtsies, it was opt, you were in for a treat. And opening those might have felt insane, but there's tons of cards that you opened that just didn't feel as good. Now you're gonna have that in Dominaria remastered as well. However, the, the cards that people really want and really want to chase and might really want to pick up on the secondary market in that retro frame foil are going to be slightly more readily available. Now, I know that that is going to cut back on their value, but I postulate, I argue, you don't need to open a $400 card in the booster box to feel good about it. I, I think if the card is worth somewhere between 75, 80 bucks, right? You're going to feel excited. You're going to feel hype. 
and you're going to have more chances at that. So I'd rather have more chances at $80, $100 hype than a one chance at $400 and get nothing, right? So I also think we have to remember there's other cards in the box, right? And, and the EV, while it's a concern, is something I think it's going to teach us a lot about the Magic community when we get to the last portion of this video. So I, I think the chase is actually going to improve here. I think that's a reason to be hype. Another reason to be hype is the limited play experience. Like, I, I don't know. I'm super excited to cast cards like like Snap and, uh, uh, oh, Swords to Plowshares is in the set. Uh, Factor Fiction. I get to cast Factor Friction without somebody telling me that it's that I'm a boomer and the card is obsolete and you don't want to cast that card anymore. Like, I, I can't cast that card anymore without someone being like, why do you still play that? Like, listen, Factor Fiction is cool. So I'm super hyped for that. And I think there's a good portion of the community that's hyped for the limited play experience and then just hyped for the nostalgia, like out the wazoo. And it's another reason to be excited for this set man is there's tutors there's sneak attack uh getting getting into more of my personal flavor there's spirit monger boomer josh gets to drop spirit monger maybe i'll sneak attack a spirit monger in a limited event just just for fun uh there's retro frame terror right there's momentary blink which is a card that i'm just i'm just super crazy about i love playing that card and things like this are reasons to be excited but these reasons to be excited are not tied to any real financial incentive, right? Collectors, chases going down, the reason to be excited, all the cards I mentioned to you that I'm excited to play outside of like maybe sneak attack are, it's not, they're not gonna go for big money. So we're gonna learn so much about the Magic community in this set. We are first and foremost gonna learn like, hey, do we have a value on the play experience? And, and this is going to tell us kind of a lot about the draft box. The set's doing what I really like and I want to do is we kind of remove the set box. I've, I did a video on this channel. If I remember editing, Josh remembers to link this at some point. I, I want to remove the set box and we're going to find out, do people gravitate towards the set box and the play experience when you can't open the crazy chase? Now, if the play experience sucks, if it's completely unbalanced, if you just have no fun, that's one thing. But if people shy away from the draft box because, hey, we don't even care about that, it tells me the community is going to spend extra on the collector box. They're going to dodge the play experience, and it's more important to them that they bling out their decks, right? I think it's going to be a very popular product. But if we have a ton of draft boxes sitting on the shelf and just dropping in price stores, just trying to get this stuff out there, it's going to say, like, hey, maybe this this model is kind of not working right people don't want to just buy the product just to open and play with at that price i think that price might be a steep ask so that's something i think we're going to learn like where do we sit as far as play experience and then also are we finally accepting the non or the price hikes for non-standard products i mentioned dominary united as kind of we pushed back against the price hype but like that was a standard set and i've done a video i've talked about this on the podcast and on this channel ad nauseum like listen standard sets are broken right now they don't work standard magic sets currently do not work they, they they don't really fulfill a need that needs to be fulfilled but for these special sets these cool things are we willing to pay for the draft box right are we willing to pay for that play experience are we willing to pay for that nostalgia hit to gather with our friends and open packs and do box openings and stuff like that so these are some interesting things i cannot wait to find out kind of how this is going to end and how this is going to shape up i want to hear from each and every one of you out there about the card you're most excited to cast i i haven't picked one that i'm most excited but for the for this video i'm gonna say it's got to be snap or momentary blink like just to cast that in a limited environment snap i i yeah Casting snap in a limited environment is going to be so much fun. The value is just insane. And if it's got to be a creature, it's spirit monger all day, baby. All day spirit monger, all night spirit monger. It's going to be nuts. Let me know what you think of the channel. And finally, the analytics bit. Guys, 80%, 80% are not subscribed to the channel. It helps so much if you click that sub button. If you like the vibe here, share this video with a friend and get their opinion. Let's find out what we think about Dominaria Remastered. Until next time, you guys know me. My name is Josh, and uh, I'll see you around. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a great day.